Shanny Fanny, Shanny here, and happy Thanksgiving to you all! I hope you're having a wonderful day, Thanksgiving day, and if you don't celebrate, celebrate Thanksgiving, then happy Thursday. And if you don't celebrate, I'm still thankful for you, and I'm gonna get into that in a minute. But I just wanted to make this quick little special video um, to tell you guys everything that I'm thankful for this Thanksgiving. Um, so let's get right into it. The first thing that I wanna say is that I am very thankful for God and for faith. Um, faith and God is something that's always been difficult for me to reach out for, um, but I've never stopped believing and I've never, st I've never lost the testimony that I have about who God is and why we're here and our purpose and my whole belief system. I've never lost faith in that. Um, something that I'm working on right now is praying for myself and that's really hard for me to do but I think that's just part of self-care that we all need to do if you believe in God you don't have to pray whatever that's fine but I'm saying this is what I'm grateful for I am grateful for God I feel him with me every day no matter what no matter how far I might stray from talking to him every day um, I always feel that he is there for me um, ready to welcome me with open arms no matter what I'm going through and I'm grateful for that and I'm grateful for my faith in that um, because it is uh, it is what's saved me so many times in my life so I'm so grateful for that. I am grateful for YouTube. YouTube is my passion. Um, when I found it and when I started doing it it seemed to fit me like a glove and it seemed to feel just right for me and and I'm so so grateful for it and I'm grateful for all the blessings it's brought me I'm grateful for all the people that it's led me to and all of my shanty fannies and all of you wonderful people that I've met and gotten to know who love me and support me every single day and encourage me and uplift me every single day um, that don't have to do that you guys take time out of your day every day to uplift me and to tell me that you believe in me and it means so much to me and I want you guys to know how grateful I am for you not just because of that but because of what you share about your own struggles and because of the friendships that you've developed with each other that is such a huge huge amazing thing and I hope you guys can see that it is really incredible for me to see that so many of you have become friends uh, through my channel essentially uh, but I hate like taking credit for that because you guys did it on your own but I'm so grateful that again YouTube brings people together and YouTube helps people find other people in the world that are going through the same thing that they are and I think that's a really beautiful thing I think the internet can be a very toxic and gross place but I think that it can also be a really beautiful and healing place and for me that's been the case um, yeah, so I'm grateful for YouTube. I am so grateful for my shiny panties. I don't know where I'd be without you guys. Um, thank you. Just thank you. Thank you. I am grateful for chocolate. Because chocolate. I am grateful for the friends that I have like in real life, like outside of YouTube. Not that YouTube isn't real life, like you guys are real life to me. But I'm grateful for my friends, the ones that I've grown up with and that I'm still friends with, like my best friend Mouse in the whole world. Um, I love her and I will love her forever. We've been through everything together and I can't imagine my life without her and she's like a sister to me and I, and she's my soulmate and I love her so much. And Alicia, my new best friend. I'm also so thankful for Danny and my mutual friend Paul, who you all know. He is our best friend. He's my brother. He's my manager. We joke that he's my second husband. He's not. And people are not liking that joke, so we're just going to drop it. But <laughs> I love Paul to death. He really is like a brother to me. And he has, um, he's helped me with every single thing, everything. He helped me start YouTube. He helped me learn how to edit. He went with me places to meet people. He went to CVX Live with me. He joins every live stream and mediates. And he tell and he helps me monetize my videos and he helps he helps me do everything and I don't pay him a cent <laughs> so he's amazing if I ever start making money then I'll pay him of course he's just the best friend in the whole world that anybody could ask for and he is such a genuinely good 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 person and I couldn't be more grateful for him so I love you Paul if you're watching and I know you are so all of our friends that Danny and I share together as well 
and friends that I still have from high school and friends that, I mean, I'm so blessed to have even just one friend. Sometimes that's hard for people. And I'm so blessed to have so many friends in real life and on YouTube. Um, and I couldn't be more grateful for them and what they've gotten through, gotten me through as well. And they've all been there for me through all of my hard times. And I'm so grateful for them. And you all know who you are. Um, it would take me forever to tell, to go through the list of names, but you all know who you are. Thank you for being there for me and encouraging me. I love you guys. You're my inspiration. You're my heroes. You know, you guys inspire us every time we do get to get together with you. You all know who you are you do inspire us to do better with our lives. And I'm grateful for that. That's a true friend right there. I am grateful for my dad. Um, I'm talking about my biological dad and um, my little brother, Ammon, who lives with my dad. He's my half brother, Ammon, and I don't get to see him often, but I just wanna say that I'm grateful for those two very much. We usually only see them a couple times a year. Um, I am proud of my dad for how far he's come. I'm proud of him for making changes in his life and I always will be, um, and that's okay. And I love my little brother Ammon so much, and I've been a terrible big sister, to be honest. I actually need to reach out to him more and be the one to like take him out and do things with him. So I'm gonna, that's like one of my New Year's resolutions is to spend more time with Ammon, um, cause I love him so much. But I just wanna say that I'm grateful for both of those people and the lessons, the different lessons that they've taught me and the different examples that they've set um, for me and uh, it's pretty it's kind of unexplainable but it's a really good feeling and I'm grateful for that no matter what happened in the past I'm grateful for where we are now and I'm grateful that um, everybody is safe and in a good place now and doing well um, and it's okay if, if my dad is not in my life right now that's okay but I still love him and I'm still grateful for him and um, I think about him all the time. So um, he's my dad and I love him. And I love you, Ammon, if you're watching. I, I love you so much and hopefully we'll get to see you soon for Christmas and yeah, I love you guys. I am grateful for my, my family. Um, I'm gonna start with my siblings that I see the most often. Um, my, I have three blood, full blood siblings and then I have two step siblings and then Danny has a bunch of siblings. So first of all, I'm so grateful for Danny's family, um, his parents, his siblings, siblings-in-law, nieces and nephews. I love Danny's family. I feel so lucky that I married into a family that I love. Like <laughs> some people don't get that and I got that. So I love it. My mother-in-law is truly my second mom. I love her and she's amazing. And same with my father-in-law and my my new siblings and nieces and nephews and i really love that family we just laugh a lot we do a lot of laughing and do a lot of fun things and just talk just sit around on sunday nights and just talk to each other and it's the best in the world i love that i love family time where you just sit in a circle and talk all night long it's the best so um i'm also thankful for my family obviously I'm going to start with my siblings. So I've got three blood siblings, Angela, Michelle, and Michael, and their spouses, Sean, Daniel, and Laura. And then I've got my stepsisters, Liz and Julie, and their spouses, Matt and Josh. And then I've got tons of nieces and nephews. Oh, can I even do this right now? Alexis, Sierra, Zane, Lindsay, Kaylee, Sadie, Zachy, um, Isaac, Jill, Kira, Levi, Caleb, Philip, Andrew, Luke, and Lisa. Did I get everyone? I feel like there's more than that. Did I skip a family? I have a lot of nieces and nephews and I love them beyond words. They are my children. <laughs> when I get to spend time with them, they really are like my children and um, it kind of makes me feel like a mom for a minute when I do get to spend time with them and I love being Aunt Shani. It's one of my favorite roles in life is being Aunt Shani to them um, and they really are extremely special to me and um, they save my life all the time without even knowing it just by telling me that they love me and getting so excited when they see me and hugging me right away like they really actually really love me like they really like me a lot and I think that's really cool because it makes me feel really special and I feel lucky to have them to be their aunt I'm so grateful for my parents, my stepdad Rob, and of course my mom. My stepdad has been there for me through the hardest parts of my life. He was there, he married my mom right after I hit puberty. So 
he got to go through all that with me and teach me to drive and he, you know, danced with me at my wedding and all of the things. And I have learned a lot from him because he's so freaking smart. And also I'm really grateful that he was and still is there for me, no matter what. I, I know I can count on Rob if I need anything. I know that if I were to go to him for anything, he would be able to help me with it, no matter what it is. No matter if it's talking about something or getting advice or whatever, like he will be there for me. And I really appreciate that. I love him very, very much. And he makes my mom happy. And that makes me happy because my mom means the most to me, which brings me to my mother. Well, Danny means the very most, but he's, he, obviously I'm saving Danny till the last, let's be real. But my mother, mom, if you're watching, and I hope you are, I don't know if you watch anymore. <laughs> That's okay if you don't, I'm not trying to like make you feel bad, but I hope you're watching this one because I want you to know that I think that you and I have a bond that will never be broken no matter how far away I move from you, no matter how often we see each other anymore, no matter what we go through, no matter what ups and downs either of us are going through, um, we have a really special bond that I am extremely grateful for. And I feel, I've always felt so lucky and so blessed to have that with you. I had so many friends growing up that would tell me that they wish they had a mom like mine that cared that much about me and that loved me that much, really looked out for me and things like that. So I'm grateful for you and I take you for granted all the time. Um, <laughs> and I'm sorry for that, but I love you so much and I'm so grateful and I would not be here without you literally because you had to, you know, push me out and stuff. So that had to hurt. So. I guess what I'm trying to say is thank you for going through the pain of pushing me out of your tukey to be here so that I can be here. And also, you are beautiful and you are kind and you are loyal and you are giving and you are one of the most empathetic people I've ever known in my life. And everyone who meets you thinks the same, that you are just wonderful and kind and loving and beautiful and your whole spirit and your whole aura. I just love you so much and you're my soulmate and you always will be no matter what and I love you, so thank you. So obviously last but not least, oh, I forgot my birds. I, oh, my bird, I have one bird left. Okay, I'm so grateful for my bird, Lemon. That's her stocking. Listen, Lemon is being a butthole lately. However, I'm still grateful for her because she still, listen, I miss my other bird very much because my other bird that died this year, like she knew when things were wrong with me and she would know when I was crying and she would come and comfort me when I was crying. And Lemon's a little bit more of a, she's a little bit more of a sticker. A sticker? Stinker? Sticker. Stinker. She is a stinker, but what's the sticker? Not a sticker. A poker? What is the word I'm thinking of? She's a little more abrasive? I don't know. Um, like, so every time I try and pet her, she just rips my skin apart. So um, I'm trying my hardest to connect with her. <laughs> However, I will say that when I actually cry, which is not often, lately I've been doing it more, which is good. That's really good. Um, but when I do cry, when actual tears roll out of my dehydrated face, <laughs> um, she turns into a different bird and it's the sweetest thing. She will come to the front of her cage and be like, me, 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 me. And so then I'll go and try and hold her and she'll let me and she'll stay with me, which is a lot for her to do. She'll usually fly away and stuff. So it's a work in progress, but I'm grateful for those little tiny tender mercy moments that she gives me. Um, and I'm also, she's also just really pretty to look at and she's so cute. You could just watch her all day long. She's so adorable. So, and it's nice to have someone in my room with me when I'm in there. And so that's nice. I really do love her. I really want to make that clear. I love her very much. She just doesn't love me yet, but I love her, just to be clear.
Okay, and before I get to Danny, I wanna throw in all the basic things that I'm grateful for, such as a home, a working car, food, water, running water so I can shower even though I never do. Um, the little things in life, having everything that I need, having the toiletries I need, having the food we need, having the supplies, the cleaning supplies, the, even TV and cable and internet and the extra things that aren't needs, but we have them. Like I am very grateful to have the life that I do have and I'm very, very grateful for that. So I just want to put that out there as well. So, okay, so let's go ahead and end with Danny because obviously he is number one, what I am thankful for in this entire world. That man, is anyone still watching? <laughs> I don't know. But that man has been my rock since before we even dated. Like we have, we were best friends before we dated and he's not somebody that I thought I would marry. He's not somebody that I thought I would be interested in. And it's, our story is so unique and so special. And I, I can honestly say like when I, started dating him, I would think to myself on the daily, like, this is not the kind of guy that I thought I would end up with or that I would date or anything like that, because we have nothing in common. Nothing. He likes to go outside. I like to stay inside. He likes sports. I hate sports. He likes, I love to eat. He doesn't like eating. He thinks it's boring and a waste of time. Um, there's all kinds of things, but we have the most important things in common, which is that we love each other, we have the same belief system, and we both want the same things in life. And I think that's what matters. And I think everywhere else that we're opposite on, I think that helps balance each other out. He's very uh, ADHD, he's very hyper all the time, and I'm very low key all the time because I'm depressed. So we kind of like help each other meet in the middle. He brings me up and I bring him down. And like little things like that, which might seem silly to other people, really are what keep our marriage going. And we have been through every, not everything, but we have been through so many hard things together and we continue to struggle here and there and we, we continue to fight. And we've learned by now, it's been, we've been married 13 and a half years now. Holy crap, we are old and we need children, 13 and a half years, anyway. And we've had really big ups and we've had really bad, really bad downs. So the fact that we have fought through those things is what makes us who we are today and it is what makes us the strength that our marriage has today. And I love that. Like I'm grateful for all of the mistakes that we both made and that we will probably continue to make for the rest of our lives because it's what brought us closer. Um, so I'm grateful for that. Danny himself I'm grateful for because he is somebody that is so happy and positive and funny and fun and he's somebody that's very lighthearted and he's always able to see the positive in everything whereas um i grew up always being in a negative headspace and so he teaches me so much about you know bringing me down to earth and like really like helping me to see the world that it really is and not the way that my messed up brain tells me that it is um and he's also just really kind and giving and loyal he's so loyal He's smart, he loves me, he tells me I'm beautiful every day. Not once in our marriage has he ever said anything degrading about me or my looks at all, ever. Not one thing. And that's amazing. He's an incredible human being and I talk about him all the time. So I feel like I don't need to go on too much more. But I just wanna say, Danny, I'm grateful for you. Thank you for everything that you give to me and thank you for loving me and being patient with me, especially right now. <laughs> and thank you for helping me as much as you have and for um, working as hard as you have on our marriage with me and it means the world to me. And um, you're an amazing person and you've been through so much that no one would ever guess that you've been through and you've gotten through it and you're stronger and I'm so proud of you. And I couldn't, uh, there's no words for how proud of you I am and there's no word for how much I love you. Um, we need to come up with a word that's stronger than love because that's how I feel about you. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's my Thanksgiving list for this year. I'm sure it's going to be the same next year because those are the things that matter the most to me. But I just want you guys to know thank you again for everything. And I hope you guys can have a wonderful Thanksgiving today. And I hope you can all spend time with some family, hopefully at least one family member or something. And again, for those of you that don't celebrate Thanksgiving, that's okay. Happy Thursday. Um, 
and just know that I do celebrate. And even if you don't celebrate, I'm still grateful for you on my Thanksgiving. So thank you for being my thankfulness, even though you don't celebrate the Thanksgiving. You might celebrate it on a different time, but for now, you're, we're celebrating it today. So today on my Thanksgiving, I'm thankful for you, no matter when your Thanksgiving is or if you even have a Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for all of it, the things, the peoples. And I'm thankful for this new sweater because it's adorable. Is it weird to say I'm thankful for Colleen? Okay, so that's all. Everybody have a happy and safe Thanksgiving and I will see you guys soon. I love you very much and remember forever and always that you are beautiful, you are worth it, and I am too. Thank you for watching. Bye.